Today we'll go and see about the Laravel 6 and the installation and to prepare our home state for our Laravel development. If you go to the Laravel documentation site over here and which is uh, laravel.com slash doc slash 6 are uh, the version code and the installation on the top over here you can see and it's mentioned that the installation you can see the installation that the Laravel framework has a uh, very few system requirements and all of these requirements are satisfied by a Laravel home state for your machine. So it's uh, highly recommended that you make use of home state for your Laravel development environment. So it's always recommended and highly recommended by a Laravel project over here to make use of a Laravel home state. And today we'll be going and see how to install and configure our home state of virtual machine over here. And however, you can also use a home state uh, if you are not using a home state, you will need to make sure you have a server meet requirement of the following. So if you are not using a home state, we have to make sure that all of these are installed and configured in our server. And we also have to make use of a composer. And basically we can make use, uh, we can also make use of like others uh, open source in environment like a jam or a lamp. So they are, they are also supported for our Laravel environment, but we have to make use of our install uh, different things and also here they have mentioned that what are the system requirements. So let's go to our Laravel homestead and see how to configure our Laravel development environment. On the homestead documentation side over here and let's go to the instruction and uh, let's go over here and check what what it does. It's the Laravel strat to make the either PSP development environment experience delightful including your local de development environment with the Vibrant, provide a simple, efficient way to make uh, and provision a virtual machine. So let's go and see what are the uh, requirements. So in the software included in our uh, home state environment, you can see the Ubuntu Git. All of these are already pre-installed for us. So this is really good and we don't have to configure or install by ourselves. So by default, it's already included in our home state environment and optional sub, uh, software that we can make use of. So let's go to the installation and setup steps over here. The first of all, that make sure we have, uh, before launching your homestead environment, we have to install a virtual box 6, uh, or a VMware, or a Parallel, or a Hyper-V. So we'll be making use of our virtual box for this one. And as well as we have to install Vagrant over here. So just, uh, let, uh, let us go to our download for our virtual box first so um, you can just go to the virtualbox.org and wiki and download so we will if you are using the os platform i'll be using a windows host and I, I have already downloaded over here so if we go to the download folder i have downloaded the virtual box and the second thing that we need is a vagrant so let's go to the vagrant side over here and this is the site that we can make use of to download so you can choose a Windows version or depending on your OS version. So I'm using on a Windows version. So if you are on 32 bit, you download a 32 bit. And if you are on 64 bit, you can download a 64 bit over here. And the next also we need a Git. So you can just go to this website, which is an git-scm.com download and you can download depending on your Windows version, whether you are on 64-bit, 32-bit, or whether you are on, on Linux or Mac. So depending on your OS, you can always download from here. So these are the basic uh, software that we need to install before we can go and configure our Laravel homestead because it says mentioned that before launching your homestead environment, you must have installed VirtualBox and the Vibrant. So uh, that's it. So let's go and install all of them first. So let me install the virtual box first and then Vagrant and the Git. So let's let us start. The, the installation is quite simple. Just you just click on next and next you don't have to change anything. Just click next, next, next and install it. So this lesson will take a bit time. So after this is done, then let's go to our Vagrant over here. And let us install this. So just double click on this one. And let's make sure that this uh, Oracle VM virtual box has been successfully installed before we proceed to our background install. So that's it. Okay. So let's finish and let's move to our background install. Click next. I accept. So just 
change just make sure everything is keep as default and just click on next next and just install it so just after of this background has been finished then we need to restart our machine so make sure after the installation has completed you reboot your machine so let's wait for this one and let's also install a git over here just click on this one if you don't want to install and if you want to make use of your command prompt and that's also fine fine but we need i will be making your sofa uh, git bus so let's uh, let me install this one also so let me see the installation for the previous one let us let us finish this installation first then uh, i will be installing a uh, git so the background installation has been completed so we'll click on finish this it's asking us to restart so we'll say i uh, will start later and let me install the git first just click on next next and i'll just click on install on desktop additional icon just click on next and uh, next and user vim okay that's fine and git from command prompt also and the third party software okay then that's fine and okay that's just leave everything as a default and use a mini ty okay that's fine so enable enable okay then leave as all of the default and just click on install so it may take a bit time just maybe a few seconds to install this one then we'll go and restart our uh, system and we'll continue further so after the installation has been done everything then we need to go and start from here so let's uh, let's wait for this one to complete. Let's uh, finish this one, and I'll just uncheck this one, and let me close all of the browser, open browser, and I will just click on restart. So let's wait for device to reboot. So just click on yes, 